Mary Allerton was a real pilgrim girl who lived in Plymouth. This story tells what may have happened to Mary on the first Thanksgiving day in America. Mary was a little pilgrim who lived in Plymouth Colony in the year 1621. Everyone in Plymouth was busy getting ready for a great celebration. Governor Bradford had announced that the Pilgrims would have a day of Thanksgiving. The Pilgrims had crossed the Atlantic on the Mayflower. The voyage took 67 days. The first winter in the new land was very hard and many of the Pilgrims were sick. The Native Americans were friendly. Squanto taught the Pilgrims how to plant corn in the spring. The Indian corn grew well. Mary carried food and water to the workers in the field. In the fall, the harvest was good. The Pilgrims wanted to thank God for the great bounty which they had received. Everyone began to prepare for the great celebration. Mary helped by gathering clams. Four men went hunting for wild turkeys which lived in the forest. Mistress Brewster, why do we need so much food? asked Mary. Governor Bradford has invited the Native Americans to our Thanksgiving, she was told. But we don't know how many Native Americans will come, so we must prepare plenty of food. Mary was asked to gather hickory nuts and walnuts. She was soon busy in the forest. She went deeper and deeper into the forest, and she was lost. What should she do? How Mary trembled when she saw the Native Americans. Would they hurt her? But the friendly Native Americans could see that the little pilgrim girl was lost. A young boy helped Mary on the way to the Pilgrim Settlement. When the Native Americans arrived at Plymouth, the Pilgrims came to welcome them. Everyone was surprised to see Mary with the young boy. The chief Massasoit thanked the Pilgrims for inviting the people of the Wampanoag tribe. He said that each year the Wampanoag gave thanks for the harvest, so they were glad to join the Pilgrims for their Thanksgiving. The women counted over 90 Wampanoags. Would there be enough food? How happy they were to see the five deer that some of the Wampanoags brought for the feast. The women busily prepared the food. Now there would be plenty for everyone. When the first Thanksgiving dinner began, Governor Bradford led the pilgrims in a prayer of thanks for the harvest. Then the pilgrims and the Wampanoags enjoyed the wonderful Thanksgiving dinner. After the great feast, Plymouth's little army marched in a parade. Then the Wampanoags danced for the pilgrims.
and there were races and games. After three days, the first Thanksgiving in the New World ended. The Wampanoag had enjoyed it as much as the Pilgrims. And Mary knew that as long as she lived, she would never forget this first Thanksgiving Day in America. The End Hey folks, thanks for watching. Please help support the Filmstrip Archives. Cheers!